How's it going? How's your 2020? Did you miss me? Did you, uh, did you forget about me? I thought I was gonna make a really positive choice and change this channel to be educational and teach people about how to work in music because I thought that would be more purposeful. But seeing as the music industry is on a hiatus, um, we're gonna just talk about vinyl while the world burns and pretend that everything is fine. Um, because I would prefer to forget about all that for, I was gonna say like eight minutes and then I remembered I don't know how to stop talking, so like 20 minutes. And I know what you must be thinking. Paige, you have no goddamn willpower. How many records did you pick up since your last vinyl update in October of 2019? Um, and the answer is seven and two singles and a couple other things I wanna show you. I know, I thought it was gonna be some crazy number and then I looked and was like, oh yeah, I haven't left the house in almost a year. So that explains a lot, unfortunately. I actually picked up a bunch of prints from photographers that I like in the music scene as well earlier in the pandemic. Um, I might have to make a separate video for that though because I picked up a bunch and I already know I talk too much so I don't want this video to go on forever. I also have like months and months of Vinyl Moon records to show you. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video for that though because there's a lot of them and I actually think I ended <laughs> my last vinyl update with that as well, which was 13 months ago, so I think that says a lot about this situation. Um, but I have them, I will show them to you in another video, they're all amazing. I've been listening to them, I just haven't been filming, so I haven't shown anybody them. I've just been enjoying them myself, so we'll get there. Um, wanna look at these records? Okay. Actually, let's start with some merch I picked up earlier in the pandemic slash like right at the beginning. Um, I got this mask from Can't Swim. Uh, I don't want to talk with it on so you can read my lips if you have to, but uh, this is from the cover of their last album and I don't know, I like it. Kids like it. Uh, maybe they don't. Maybe they're scared of it. I'm not getting too close to anybody. I'm not asking anybody any questions when I'm at the Shoppers Drug Mart. Buying my chips full of glass. Only type of chips I eat and they get recalled for being full of glass. I don't care. I'll eat them anyway. I already ate three bags from the glass batch. I'm fine. Please give me back the chips. I will buy the recall chips at a discount. Like, sorry, separate thoughts, <laughs> but wear your mask so we can get back to music. Um, I might not be there if I eat chips full of glass. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so records. Um, let's start with a special one. So, you know how I'm managing one of my favorite bands in the entire world? So Heavy Hearts released an album during the pandemic, and I think it's my favorite thing they've ever recorded. I've listened to it thousands of times, and I could just keep going, and I will, forever. Um, like, what a special collection of songs. And they've been doing really well, and I'm, I'm happy. I just wish we could tour it, but we can't yet, obviously. But eventually, one day they will, and it will be so wonderful. But until then, I got to help design this vinyl. Like, I got to go in to all the different options that they have for vinyl and pick out what we could do. And we got a grant from the government to help us do it. Like, amazing. Just amazing. Um, Justin took the photo. I helped with the layout. Justin's girlfriend, Martina, designed the logo. Um, Martina Doom, she's a great artist. Look her up. But the record itself, it doesn't show properly this stupid the light in here is just not good for filming and showing you the color of records. Yeah, it just looks red, but it's not. If I tilt it this way, yeah, okay, you can see the smoke in there somewhere. I swear to you, it's like perfect in person, but uh, the lighting is just not. But yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with how they turned out. Um, they're available now on the band's web store, which I'll link below, along with the links to everything else in this video. Um, but there's also other merch if you want to check it out that I also helped design. Like, we made these Room With A View keychains, like motel keychains. Uh, we ordered them from an actual place that supplies motels with things, which was fun. And then we also have hoodies. There's also t-shirts, but I forgot to take one home. I bought <laughs> I bought a pre-order package, like the big pre-order package, and the band was like, why did you do that? You literally <laughs> work for us. But I ordered it because I am still their biggest fan. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing this everywhere. Everybody's seen it because I wear it every day. Sorry. Next. Thank God, because with only so few records, it just didn't feel like a video I was making. 
Uh, next we have a record that I bought more than one copy of. <sighs> Everything is back to normal. So I ordered Halsey's Manic, and they're two entirely different types of vinyl, so that's why I can justify the purchase. Um, this one, can you see that? It's got like a lenticular cover, I believe they're called. That one's normal. But these, I ordered them last fall. The album came out in January, and I didn't get them until the summer, I think. Like these, it was such a long process, but they're beautiful, so it's fine. I was kind of disappointed because the one with the lenticular cover was supposed to have glitter vinyl, and then the reason it took so long was because they were like, oh, actually, we can't physically do that, so we're gonna send you uh, picture discs, which are my least favorite type of vinyl ever. I will avoid buying them unless there's a reason for it. Um, so I actually almost canceled this order, but I just decided why not, I'll just get it anyways. I mean, I've already waited long enough. So like, they're kind of cute. It looks like glitter, but it's not, and it's also not glittery, it's just like gray. <laughs> but they tried, and like, it's fine. I like the cover, the cover was worth it. And then the other copy here is the one I actually really love, um, just based off of the vinyl itself. It's clear and it has purple and blue splatter, and I wish there was more of the blue. You can see it more, obviously, if your eyeballs were here, but it's just really pretty. Can you? No. It doesn't even show up on camera, I'm so sorry. But it is really pretty, and I love it. Uh, most of these albums came out so long ago, I feel like it's like wrong to even be talking about them right now, because I feel like I've missed something. Like, I've already posted about them and forgot. But I haven't, because in my last video, I made a comment where I was like, Oh, my Locket album is on the way, I can't wait. Here she is, she's here. That was a year ago, but she's here. She's been here. I just haven't been here. So yeah, All Out, still an amazing album that I listen to every single day. I just realized that means you don't know what happened to this record because I almost forgot about what happened to this record. Okay, so there was an issue at the, the pressing plant and nobody caught it and then somebody else posted a picture online and I was like, please God, let me get the same mistake. I need this. And I did. And like the label was like, oh my God, we can't believe this happened. I was like, no, this is the best possible thing that could have happened because literally what the hell is this? Um, so... <laughs> green vinyl and it was pressed in the fall so I assume they were pressing Christmas albums as well which also probably would have been the same shade of green which might explain why the other side says home alone <laughs> oh, home alone Christmas like like it's 2019 and you didn't think like I wouldn't have thought that would be an issue that could come up in 2019 that movie came out when I was like born so anyway I just have this nice little extra oomph to my Locket record, uh, so when I listen to it, it just puts me in a good mood because it's so funny. Um, but yeah, amazing record. If you haven't picked it up yet, there's this, and there's also a clear pressing. I think on the, I think one of them's on the Fearless web store and one's on the Locket web store, if I remember correctly, or maybe one of them was only available at shows. I don't know. Um, but there's pressings. There's options. I kind of wish I got the clear one, but then I wouldn't have gotten the Home Alone edition. So. The next record that I picked up is by Maneka. It is called Devin. His name is Devin Maneka. Fun fact. Um, he used to be in Speedy Ortiz. And I picked this one up in the summer. It's amazing, but I haven't listened to it on vinyl yet because I need new speakers for my turntable. So this one and the next one I haven't listened to yet because I got them too late in the year. Eventually, I will get to that. But I've been listening to it on Bandcamp, which is where I originally bought it. And it's a great record. If you haven't checked it out yet, this is one to check out. And also, I just really love when artists use um, childhood photos of themselves as album covers because for some reason they all have album cover energy. I have photos of myself where I'm like, if I ever made music, that would be the cover. Like, I, why? I don't know why they just exude that energy, but they do. I'm not going to bother showing you the record. It's pressed on standard black. Um, 
And if I take it out of the sleeve, there's a really good chance I'm gonna rip that inner sleeve because I always do. So uh, let's keep this one in good condition until I at least get to listen to it once. The next record is one that I was really excited about and I learned a lot about it because I got to interview Pat, the lead singer. Um, movements, no good left to give. I wasn't sure how they were gonna follow up Feel Something, which was such an amazing record. Like, I still, that record's been out for two years and I listen to it every day. Um, but they really did a good job of following it up. This album is, like it really just builds off the foundation that they set with the last record. It's impressive and uh, I just really love this band. I think everything they do is amazing. When they started putting out all these different music videos that were safe for social distancing, they did like an anime video. I, I just I just really like them. I think they're good at what they do. Um, but I got to interview Pat. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link to that below uh, next to the link for the vinyl uh, because that was kind of cool. I forgot how pretty this one was. Oh, it just stopped my heart for a second when I opened it up. Ah, uh, it is white. It has purple marble. I want to say this is marble. We have already gone through the fact that I don't know white types of pressings because it just doesn't matter, but it's beautiful and I love it. And I love that I figured out how to make my camera adjust the lighting properly. The last LP that I picked up, uh, I've never said his name out loud before. I have this problem often with artists and bands where all of a sudden I'm like, oh, what's that word? Um, but this is Luke DeCizio? Luke DeCizio? I assume it's not that. Um, if I'm wrong, please tell me. I'm just, I'm trying not to be a horrible c Canadian. Apparently we butcher everything, I'm so sorry. Uh, anyways, this is his album, Goodbye Folk Boy. It is copy seven out of a hundred on this special limited edition wine vinyl. Um, I left it in the plastic because I was like, oh, but it's limited. But it also got super damaged in shipping. This whole corner is like chewed to pieces. So like, I really don't think it's going to be a collector's edition because it is damaged. So let's take it out of the plastic. So Luke really thrives in his genre of like subdued folk music. It's really relaxing. And when you listen to it, I feel like you almost have to go into your own mind and process your feelings and things. And it's a lot, it's very heavy, but it's very beautiful. Um, there was one song on here called Robin, R-O-B-Y-N. There's dots, so that's why I say it like that. Please, please, if you have problems, take it up with management. Um, but yeah, such a good song. I listened to it a billion times. And then it started taking off on Spotify, and all of a sudden he was like, all over Spotify. It was amazing to watch. Um, I love Luke. All of his music has been amazing. I always get the most jovial, happy emails from him, and it like makes my day. Oh! <laughs> Luke, we are uh, two peas in a pod because this looks an awful lot like the Heavy Hearts record. Oh my God. Smoke on wine colored vinyl. Who are we? This was also made in partnership with Vinyl Moon, which uh, I think speaks a lot to the quality of it. It's heavy vinyl. This plastic sleeve is really nice. Everything about it is really beautifully done, which is the quality I would expect from Vinyl Moon, so I'm not shocked. Ugh, I'm so mad it's damaged. The Canada Post really just said fuck your mail. They just don't care. And now, two more things and then one more thing. Yeah, that's the way I wanna say that, okay. So first, we have something that you cannot get. This is a one of a kind. There is not another copy like it anywhere. And it just showed up yesterday, so I haven't even listened to it yet but I am dying to because there's only one of it. So I don't even know what's on it. This is from Pink Shift. Have you listened to them? I'm obsessed with them. Um, I discovered them this year and just immediately was like, oh, um, you're my children now. I will protect you through anything. Um, but they did this thing with their new single, Rain Walk, where you could order a one of a kind record and they would record it live and like, say something to you at the beginning. So this is like personalized vinyl. This is, I'm the only person that has this and it is made for and to me. It is take 20. So they did a handful of them for different people, but I am so excited to listen to this one. It's through Least of All. So if you're a band, you can actually work with this company to do the same thing. And you can, you don't even have to be in Brooklyn. You can record it from your home studio if you have any sort of setup. They said they don't care if it's shit quality, like, 
whatever you want to do, they'll, they'll do it. So I think that's so sick. I am so excited to listen to this. I think this is such a cool concept. And also I just love Pink Shift, so being able to support them during this pandemic is also very cool. You should listen to them. Um, I don't know if they're still recording these. I assume it was something you knocked out in one day type of thing, but they have new merch, so I'll link that below instead. And then, um, so back in the day, I bought this for a giveaway, like four years ago, and didn't get an extra copy for myself and figured I'd do it eventually, and then they didn't have any more that I knew of. But then I became Heavy Hearts manager and found out they just stopped bringing them to shows because they were old. And I was like, no, bring those back to the shows. And now they're sold out. I think there's two left on their web store if you want to check. So I picked myself up a copy of Heavy Hearts Summer a while ago. Um, I love this EP. It has Underwater Shakespeare. It's the only place you can find that track. A couple of these are also featured on slightly newer releases from this. But we also put this up on Spotify now, so you can find it there too but Underwater Shakespeare is a great track. Oh my God. <laughs> They're so little, what is this picture? This isn't even, it's just so weird to see like, this is who I used to see back when I first started seeing them. They were this little and also Davis was in the band. Uh, now Davis does a million other cool things and owns a church. So anyways, that's another story, but <laughs> um, I just really like this Coke bottle clear. I'm just a sucker for any record that uses this, but I really like this one. Um, and I'm really glad that I own it now too, because I already got to gift it to somebody else, which felt good, but now I also get to own it, which feels great. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about is like, it's vinyl related, and I think a lot of you might like it. I'm kind of obsessed with it myself. Um, I featured this product on my blog years ago. I just found it online and was like, that's so cool, and wrote about it in like a gift guide for vinyl lovers or something. And they reached out to me within the last year and were like, oh my God, we totally missed that you wrote that, but thank you. And um, we'll send you some if you want. And then the pandemic hit and I didn't respond because life was a blur. And then <laughs> months later, I was like, oh God, I didn't respond. Uh, but also there's a pandemic. So I didn't want to be like, yeah, friend me, send me free things. I love this product. So why wouldn't I pay for it? So I just emailed them to be like, hey, I bought some. Hope you guys are doing okay. And so they sent me some extra. So I think we should do a giveaway. I haven't done one in a while. I've got some other stuff I'm working on, so like, um, stay, stay tuned at the end and we'll, we'll talk about how, how I might do this giveaway. But it's called Record Props. And you use them to hang your vinyl on your wall. But instead of putting it in like a case or a frame of some kind, it's just this. So it's just this X and you screw, okay, this part twists a little bit and comes out. You screw this onto the wall and then you attach this with the little holder. And one side of this big X is slightly skinnier than the other. So if you have it this way, this is wider. You can put a gatefold album cover up there, but if you twist it 180 degrees, it's a little bit thinner. So you can put a thinner album cover without it falling off the wall. And then the front has a little rubber like ring on it to hold. Um, we're gonna use Pink Shift for the example, but you can just pop this on the front. So you have the, the album cover behind it and the record in front, and it doesn't, it doesn't fall off because of the rubber ring. It is just such a cute way to display your vinyl. And I have this weird shaped wall here, so you can't really put up anything else because it makes the wall look an even weirder shape when you show off proper shaped objects. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a great way to fill the space and I haven't hung them up yet, but I'm so excited about them. Record props, I'm gonna put the link to that below as well, as well as all of these records and merch and everything here. Um, but yeah, now that I've shown you everything and we can officially say, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe and pray to God I make more videos. Um, we can move to the post video thing where I talk about potential giveaways. So, um, Page Backstage, the music blog, is all gonna be music education stuff going forward because I still think I have things I can teach people. I just like, it's really depressing to talk about it out loud and the videos were just like really sad to watch because I was like, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna have a job in this industry again. But anyway, <laughs> here's how you can work in it. I don't know how I can work in it. Um, 
but the tips I can provide I'm gonna put on the blog. If you want music recommendations, you can go to Soft Sound Press, which has been up and running now for a year, which is exciting, just about a year. Um, we've been interviewing a bunch of bands, we've been doing a bunch of cool premieres. There was one today, slash I guess when I post this yesterday, from a Toronto band called Cicada. Really cool shoegaze, listen to it. But I'm gonna be starting a third blog. Oh my God, please don't yell at me. Um, but I mean, I'm not really working in music anymore. I got a normie job. I start in a week. I'm really excited actually. Um, I have all these other things I've been working on and different interests outside of music. And so I kind of needed a new space to put that stuff because I still feel like I have things to say and things I want to share. And I really like curating an Instagram feed as much as people seem to really hate when people do that. I just think it's really fun. Um, so I kind of want to create this other space that still contains some music stuff, but also I can talk about other things as well. So yeah, it's going to be more of like a personal blog, but also because there will be some music stuff and like some home stuff and DIY and like, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of stuff this year while trapped in my house. So I think that's going to be the place for giveaways going forward, um, as well as on this channel. But if you're like looking for that sort of thing, it'll probably be there. Sometimes I talk so much that even I notice I'm talking too much, so I just turned that clip off. I don't even know where I was going with it, but I know it probably wasn't important, so I just decided it was over. Um, so if I didn't finish a thought, the thought didn't matter anyways. Um, so yeah, three blogs. Music education, music, me. So if you want to know what I'm up to and all these different things that maybe aren't music but maybe are, you follow that blog. If you don't give a shit about me, you can listen to music or you can educate yourself on music in the other two. And that's totally fine. It's up to you. Um, but if you do want updates on that third new site, um, it should be up within the week. I'll leave the link below if you want to just click and check. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to do the whole email blast thing for that one. I know it's like the way you're supposed to do things, but we'll figure it out. If I have updates, I'll update it in the information below. Um, I also have something else on the way, but I have to wait on some design stuff before if that one is ready to launch, but it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm working on a lot of things. I've had a lot of time in my house to think about things and do things and realize things. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good about this year. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, this is some stuff that you might like, or maybe I hope this was like an escape from the nightmare of this year, you know, the existential crisis, the fact that we apparently are actually aging at a more rapid rate than usual because of the stress of this year. I am not shocked. I look at my face in the mirror and I'm like, she's 35. I am going to film more videos. I swear to God, this time I'm going to do it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, haze me in the comments. I'm used to it by now. Uh, and I'll see you all next time, which will be not a year from now. I promise. And if I lied, cyberbully me. Okay, see you next time.